dearly beloved, the admonishment from our man of God, Pastor Chris, for the article for 19th of January serves as a great reminder in the days we're living in. Be vigilant. Listen to this message and be blessed. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 from where our theme scripture is from says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. In John chapter 5 verse 43, Jesus said, I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Our underlying portion sounds like a supposition, but it's not. It's actually in the affirmative when you study the Greek rendering. The word another in that verse doesn't come from heteros in the Greek, but from alos. This clearly means that Jesus was prophesying about the pseudo-Christos, a false Christ, one who falsely lays claim to the name and office of the Messiah. Jesus did teach that there would be false Christs and false prophets. When you read in the epistles such as 1 John chapter 2 verse 18, the term used is Antichrist, which is Antichristos in Greek, meaning instead of Christ, against Christ, one who puts himself in the place of Christ or opposes Christ. This lines up with the pseudo Christos. So, when Jesus said, If another shall come in his own name, him will ye receive, he knew what he was talking about. Sadly, some today are willing to demonstrate magnanimity and incredulity towards fake news and wrong doctrines, while unwilling to accept real truth. The Bible tells us the Antichrist will be a deceiver and a liar, and that major religious leaders will endorse him. But that's no surprise. There were people like that in Bible days who endorsed the false prophets and killed God's prophets. This is seen in Matthew chapter 23 verse 31. It's the same in the world today. Many have chosen to be deceived. Satan's modus operandi is based on deception with misrepresentations. Therefore, remain vigilant. The Bible says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. This reference is seen in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. We're in the closing period of this present age. The Lord is coming soon. Be alert and ready. Praise the Lord. How instructive. Stay in the truth. But how can you stay in the truth when you don't know truth? Thank God Pastor Chris has endeavoured to spread truth through these daily devotionals in every language available. Right where you are, let us partake in this prayer together as you repeat after me. Gracious Lord, thank you for the illumination that I've received from your word. Exposing the cunning devices of Satan and his cohorts in these last days. The eyes of my understanding are flooded with light. I am alert and sensitive within, ready for the coming of the Lord. Amen. During your times of studying the word, you may note down these scriptures to meditate and study further in the book of 1 John chapter 4 verses 1 to 3, 1 John chapter 2 verse 18, 2 John chapter 1 verse 7 and 3 John chapter 1 verse 4. Glory to God. If you're in Christ, you have nothing to fear. If you have not yet received salvation, it's not too late. We invite you to wait to the end of this video where we will lead you in a simple salvation prayer. Discover who you are in Christ today when you subscribe to this channel and be sure to share these wonderful messages on your social media platforms and to your loved ones. We have downloadable copies of this daily devotional in our description that you can take advantage of today and study. Be blessed and continue to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord. Hallelujah. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. 
I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.